There better be a goddamn slide projector in here. That's definitely ominous looking. Stage 1B. The second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting, and then when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, let's, uh, let's not use that slide. Neil was really into it. We found that he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. Oh, joy. We thought Neil had gotten lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation meadow. Oh, I got me a case file. Probably for the flamingo. Nah, flamingo. Pink flamingo. There we are. A pink... A uh, plastic plink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. Huh. That is definitely not what happened when we played with it. And then, of course, I've got my recording here. Cleared that and we're good to go. No new paper anywhere that I can't see. Everything's been picked up. Awesome. Let's push the big ominous button. Whoa. Here, our home, our school, the woods. That's cool. They made a scale model of the town. And now I'm going to get to have a shit show in here, aren't I? This big open room like this? There's no way in hell I'm not getting into a fight in here. Search for the slide projector. Really? In this big old room, you're not going to make me have a fight. I am honestly surprised. Stage three. There's the missing stage three. I've been looking for that one. Tom and the others had gotten worse, scarier. The math teacher, Mrs. Chester, tried to make them listen, and they pushed her o pushed over a piano on her, broke her legs. Holy cow! Then Tom bashed her head in. Bye-bye, Mrs. Chester. I always liked her. I liked math. Holy shit. I mean, this is after stage two when they've been started to turn into the dung monkeys. But still, that was the tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies level bad. The grown-ups realized something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and the others away. Tom was screaming that the Not Mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in Ordinary. Mom and Dad were pissed, asking us about the dump, about everything. I remember wanting them gone like Tom had said. When we woke up the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just vanished. Was I responsible? Did I? I didn't know. Disappearance of majority of Ordinary population confirmed a result from Slide Projector. But again, did Dylan do it? Or was it the Not Mother? Like, that is ambiguous right there. Like, there's no clear answer. And granted, I don't think there should be a clear answer. I knew it! You just made me wait till I got near the exit! Give me that. You know what? Let's let the Suiciders play with you. Oh, we got it named. Here, have a paper tree. Have another paper tree. I gotta let the old ammo bar recharge. Nope, that's all yours. Yeah, that one's yours too. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Search for the slide projector object of power. Well. Let me see. Ordinary dump site. Yep. That would be over here. Nope. No hidden chests or anything. I see. Is that a tape recorder? Hello, tape recorder. 
poem last time. Jesse therapy, Polaris. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know. No matter. It suits you very well. The poem. What? How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Is this not their original no. world? Did they end up somewhere else because of the slide projector? It's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no, Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You were referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris, she's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... Oh, she was gone for a while. She showed me things. And she, then she drew her here. More real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No! It wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris <laughs> didn't cause it. You tell him, Jesse. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No. It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There yes, they do. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important. You knew, going. Polaris. You Just, knew. You know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by oh, shut up. what's real and what's imagined. She knew. She knew the hiss was coming. She knew I'd be the one that had to stop this shit. And is this Jesse's original world? That hint about Zane. That's a big one there. In one world, he was a screenwriter. In another, he was a poet. Ordinary supplemental. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden, see interviews bleh and bleh for relevant information, and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, DF claims there were eight slides for the projector, JF mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Uh, no shit. Notes, Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space of the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Oh, God. This isn't their original world, is it? They ended up somewhere else because of the slide projector. That's... that's heavy. Ordinary dump. Well, it's definitely a dump. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York. And nobody saw a thing. <laughs> unbelievable. Gotta give him props for that one. Now, the logistics of that. That's impressive. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the bleh department. Details will be forthcoming. The area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. 
Any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. They were gonna close it down? Did they give up? Woo! Oh, I bet this place reeks. Dumps are not the nicest smelling places in the world, no sir. Hello, paperwork. Globe supplement. The item was found in the penthouse suite at Bleh, Toronto belonging to David Wolf, who was being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. Oh. Oh, we had a black, black market dealer for altered items? Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including Bleh, Bleh, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Supplementary. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that kept Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nutjob radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. <laughs> but it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping my ties while the world thinks he's dead. No, no, he's probably riding in a cell somewhere in the Panopticon. Or, God forbid, they stuck him on fridge duty and the fridge ate him. You know, one or the other. Uh-oh. Okay, I see the cluster. That's got to go first. Thank you. Do I have anyone that can hurt me while I'm up here? Doesn't look like it. I don't think you guys can reach me up here. I think you might be screwed. Yeah, you guys are pretty screwed. <laughs> oh, someone actually can reach me now. Not gonna stop me from raining hell down on your head. Uh-oh, one of the enhanced. All right, let's, uh, let's grab this. All right, where are you, you son of a bitch? I can hear him. Where is he? Son of a bitch! <laughs> you know what? This is a job for charge. <laughs> oh! More charge. There we go. Kill was charge. Woo. My oh my. Oh, got it named. Oh, I hear more of those fuckers. Yeah, dude, I can fly too. Oh, his shield's regenerating. Yeah, you can't do much about that, can you? Woo, boy! We should check that lab. Search Darling's lab for the slide projector. That was a thing there. Sure, the old HP bar is full up. All right, let's check the mobile lab. This does not look like a mobile lab. Not very mobile. Mini lab, maybe. Am I full on? Personal mods full again, huh? Uh huh. Oh, weapon mods are full too. Joy. Two, two, three. Seriously, get the hell out of here. You're embarrassing me with all these. What is this, twos and ones? That's insulting. Thank you. Well, that's what I need to touch. Is there anything in here else? Nope. All right, darling, where's the damn slide projector? 
Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. God damn it. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. He He's uh, already freaking out about the hiss right now at this point. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. Yeah, I haven't been there That's yet. Where we go next. <laughs> Sweet. The face of the enemy complete. New mission. Finish Tango. Well, that takes care of a lot of this area. I don't suppose I can get out of here, can I? Oh, I can. This should open up that side door. Thank you. Does that open up the one on the opposite side? Does not appear to. All right, let's get the heck out of this zone. Search for the slide projector in dimensional research. Do I have any side missions at all to turn in or work on? Does not look like it. Wow. And we got three more ability points. Eh, might as well unlock Seize an additional enemy. Board countermeasures, got some new ones. Ah, yep, got one to turn in. Astral Tactician. <laughs> oh, these all suck. These all suck. Get rid of all of these. Kill Elevated. Kill Charged. Kill Troopers in the Research. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, okay. Well, we did finish a new main mission. I suppose that means it's time to go check you in with Ati and see if he's got another mission to work on. Oh, Ati. Oh, Ati. You are such a weird-ass janitor. And I don't know why I'm singing. I really don't. <laughs> ah, he does. Thank you. Even more mold. Completely leaving from the mitten. Perker, eh? Satana. Hellevitin, hellevitin. Okay. Gotta go to the coolant pumps, huh? Alright, let's head to the coolant pumps. Head though. Well, I need to kill mold, and that looks pretty moldy to me. Mold's gotten in here too? Alright. Let's get cleaning, she said. Again. <laughs> All right, it's time to find more mold blisters. Joy, these things are hard enough to find. There's one. Oh, looks like it's gonna be another six of these, huh? Question of course is where does one find all these moldy blisters? But hey, I can finally get this chest that's been driving me nuts since the very first time I was in here in the power plant. And it's a ritual impulse. Very nice. Ah, I see a blister. Thank you. None of these are blisters, although they some of them definitely look like they ought to be. <laughs> Ati and his damned singing. Uh oh. Got hiss. Will kill. Thank you. Oh, hi. Oh. 
charge to the suiciders. I think I need to change guns. I don't need charge anymore. I need pierce. You know what? You can kill your friend. Something I don't get him first. Which I did. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of blisters in here and they're gonna be a bitch to find. The lighting in here is not gonna help my day, no sir. Yeah, you guys have all that fun. <laughs> right, Neil. Hi! I see you. And I think I see that one, too. Well, there's two of them I just popped. Speaking of things that need popping. Don't insult my intelligence, good sir. <sighs> Doesn't neither of us any good. Now, where are these last two mold blisters hiding? They do tend to glow very faintly. I need some more height if I'm gonna reach that. Sure, where I'm gonna get more height is the question. Ah, over there. Thank you. Come on. Threshold remnant launch efficiency. That's kind of insulting game. There's one. That last one's gotta be around here somewhere. I'm shooting anything that looks even remotely mold shaped. Like I'm pushing desperation. There it is! Oh my god, that was so annoying. Oh, I cannot believe I didn't see that. Oh, that had to have been staring me dead in the face like four or five different times. Okay, gonna be honest, kinda wanna go check in with Ati again. Now that we cleaned out that mission, maybe he's got another one. Oh, fudge. Yeah, 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 I'm kind of ignoring you guys. Not worth the fight. Gonna be honest. Eh, fuck it. Take some scrubs here. That's all you guys are, is you bunch of scrubs! Rank two? Come on, I can take rank two guys down, no problem. You're barely worth the effort. See what I mean? I mean, I'm not gonna cry, I need the resources. Really? There's still somebody in here who wants to raise hell. Eh, hell of them then. I'll ignore you. Go poke my nose back at Adi. Adi, you got another mission for me? What a mess, take a break. I guess I just take a seat. Okay. This is what being a janitor is all about. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, getting to park the old Jesse butt down. And fade to black.
Very nice. Huh? Where did that come from? I suppose the janitor's assistant does need proper janitor attire. Holy cow, four ability points. Thank you, Ati. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Ati. Oh, that is... I'm going to put that to some serious good use. And I think on that note, I am going to leave this here. If you've enjoyed these, please leave a like and favorite. And subscribe to join me to find out what is in Dimensional Research. Oh, man. I cannot believe they're throwing us in another wild goose chase. And don't tempt me. I've done the wild goose chase already. That freaking duck was crazy. <laughs> Until then, see you guys in the next video.